Hi friends, it's Brie and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be bringing to you some 4th of July inspiration full of DIYs, snacks, and more. Here I am making a cream soda. So to begin with the recipe, you first start with any type of syrup. I'm using vanilla. And then you add in your ice and any type of club soda that you prefer. After that, you just pour in some creamer. You can top it up with whipped cream, it's optional. And I just added a little bit of fruit. It's not the healthiest, but come on, who doesn't cheat when it's a holiday? I mean, I know I do. And if you want to make this drink a little more festive, just add in some blue or red food coloring. Or you can even just change up the cups. I got these mason jars for not even a dollar at my local dollar store. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a cake batter flavored popcorn. It is so good, I cannot stop eating it. All you're going to need is some popcorn, some sprinkles, a spatula, melted white chocolate, and a vanilla cake mix. I first began by putting some of the vanilla cake mix into the white chocolate, and I just kept stirring that up until it was evenly distributed throughout the white chocolate. I then added in a little more, after trying it I probably could have added a little more cake mix just to get the flavor but it still tasted really good. And then you're just going to dump it all over the popcorn and then you're going to mix that up until that's evenly distributed through all over the popcorn. And then you just add in your sprinkles, mix that all together and then you're good to go. Next I'm going to make some chocolate covered strawberries. I know this is usually always in 4th of July videos, but I cannot resist chocolate covered strawberries. So I have the white chocolate again and I am just dipping the strawberries into it first. And then I just dip them into the sprinkles. And I have a bunch of different colors here to add some variety. You just gotta ignite the light and let it shine. Just To make my shoes, all you're going to need is blue and red fabric markers, tape, white shoes of course, and a star stencil. I started by taking the shoelaces out of mine so that way they weren't in the way. And then after that I just started tracing my little star all over the back of the shoe. I didn't really have a purpose for where I put the stars, I just randomly placed them. And don't worry if it's not perfect because you're going to color it in anyways. Any type of white shoe will work. I've had these for forever and I almost got rid of them so it was really cool to repurpose them. Especially if you used white Converse I think that would look really cool too. So now I am just coloring in the white part of the shoe in blue to make it look like part of the American flag. All of the products that I'm using to create these shoes were very inexpensive including the shoes themselves. I think I got these from Michaels. I can't remember, but um, they still have them, I think, and they were literally maybe like $5. So next, I am taking tape, and I'm just marking off um, even sections for how I want my stripes. You can either make them thicker or skinnier, it's up to you. And then you just do the same like you did with the blue and just color it in with red. Just make sure that when you are coloring near the tape that you color away from it, so that way the red doesn't go underneath the tape. And once you're done coloring the stripes, you just take the tape off and you have an American flag shoe. I think they're cute not only to wear just on the 4th of July, but even for the whole summer.
Because my shoes are the main focus, I just wanted to keep my outfit simple, so I'm just wearing a white crop top with red shorts. I tied a chambray top around my waist, just in case if it gets cold, and a blue bandana around my neck. Okay guys, so that was the video. I hope you liked it. Let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!